and they're off. Palace breaks well from the outside. Abra is right there, and it's Abra to take the lead. Palace in second. Broad rules in between horses. Battier is down at the rail and a strapping groom. Abra's got the lead. And the remaining four right behind Abra, the big long shot here. Strapping Groom has now moved into second. Palace is on the outside. Battier's down at the rail. And Broad Rule is fifth. Just two and a half lengths, three lengths separating the field. The quarter went at 23 and one. Abra by a head. Strapping Groom on the outside, a second by a length and a half. Palace is in third, midway on the turn. Abra and Strapping Groom, they're right together. Palace just in behind. Then it's Broad Rule and Battier. Into the stretch, the half mile in 45 and four fifth seconds. And here's Strapping Groom. Strapping Groom in front and in front by four lengths. Palace moves into second. Then it's Abra Broad Rule and Battier. Strapping Groom, much the best in the Graves and Handicap. One by six or seven lengths and ran six furlongs in one minute, nine and three fifth seconds. Number four, Strapping Groom was first. Number six, Palace, second. Number five, Abra was third. And number three, Broad Rule, fourth. Results are unofficial. Four, six, five, three. The time, one minute, 9.74 seconds. Eighth race official. Number four, Strapping Groom is a six-year-old chestnut horse by Johannesburg from Something Silver by Silver Deputy. Strapping Groom is owned by Drawing Away Stable and David Jacobson. Trained by David Jacobson and the jockey is Junior Alvarado.
winner's circle now is New York Racing Association handicapper Andy Serling. He's making the trophy presentation to the connections of Strapping Groom. Winner of the Gravesend Handicap. In today's ninth race, scratch seven.